How's it going guys? In this video, we're gonna be walking through how to make sure your car is going to pass smog when you take it to the actual smog tech. And so in this car and basically every car since 1996, they have this little port here. It might be in a different location, but this is called an OBT2 or onboard diagnostic to scan tool that basically the smog tech just plugs into. And you can check this on your own before you spend the money on getting a test. The first thing you'll do here is you'll turn the car's ignition to on and uh, then you're going to connect these guys together. Okay, so I just plug this guy in and I'm going to wait and see what he has to say. So we're gonna hit enter to start and then we're gonna hit diagnostics. And this is the part where if your ignition is not on, you can still be getting power and that'll just tell you it can't read anything. So you gotta give this thing a moment. We're going to uh, view the I slash M readiness here and going to click on sense DTCs and this is the part where if you see INC that stands for incomplete and that means that it doesn't have enough data to be telling you uh, how the catalyst is performing so basically um, if you're seeing this type of stuff it means that uh, you need to drive your car and you drive your car in a specific way I don't like it when the smog tech just tells you you'll go drive like 50 or 100 miles basically the way you turn these things from incomplete to okay or ready is you will go on the freeway and you will uh, drive your car at 55 miles an hour half throttle and you on the freeway will then after about three minutes let your car coast down no braking no changing of gears let the car coast to around uh, 20 miles an hour and then you'll bring it back up to speed and you'll hold it at again 55 miles an hour on the freeway for another five minutes and then you can recheck here and see what these things have to say so i'm gonna go do this right now and uh you guys will be along for the journey all right so i'm on the freeway now and i'm taking this car up to 55 and i'm gonna go a few blocks basically just a couple exits and i'm gonna turn around and i'm basically doing the best i can to let this thing coast but yeah, I'm going a little bit too fast here, so just 55 is all we need to do. I'm going to be the slowest person on the road for a bit, but I'm going to stop filming just so I'm safe, but I'll bring it back once I'm coasting down so you guys can see. All right, guys, so we're just coasting down right now. And I'm trying to let this thing ease off as much as I can. guys and so after driving the car around on the freeway so 55 miles an hour five minutes and then coasting it down to around 20 miles an hour as close as you can safely get with no brakes and no gear changes uh, it is now reading okay on these things and the only uh, incomplete that I have is the one for the EVAP monitor and in the state of California you don't need to worry about that I just called and spoke with the smog tech so um, this car is now ready to get smogged. So thank you all for watching. Let me have any questions and good luck if you're about to do this.